states and properties of matter. Check your progress. Does the given diagram represent the solid, liquid or gas molecules? The given diagram represents the gas molecules because each of these molecules are far apart. Name the three phases of water. It's solid, liquid and gas. Water when frozen becomes ice cubes. When it melts, it is water in the liquid form and when it's heated, it becomes water vapor, which is gas. What is the boiling point of water? It's 100 degrees Celsius. What is the melting point of ice? It's 0 degrees Celsius. Write the word that describes each of the following processes. A liquid changes into a gas at room temperature. It's evaporation. A gas changes into a liquid. Condensation. A solid changes into liquid. Melting. Water changes into ice. It's freezing. Heated water changes into steam. And it's boiling. Sophia went into the bathroom after her big sister had a bath. It was full of mist and the mirror was covered in drops of liquid. Now the questions are, what was the mist made of? The mist was made of tiny droplets of water hanging in the air. What were the droplets of liquid made of? Those were made of water vapor. Name the process that made the drops of liquid form. It was condensation. Why did the drops form? Drops were formed due to the condensation process. Water vapor suspended in the air transforms back into water droplets as it cools down. After taking a hot shower, the air in the bathroom becomes warm. This warm air contains water vapor. When this warm air comes in contact with the cold mirror, the vapor condenses and forms tiny droplets of water onto the mirror. When you make jelly, you mix the jelly powder with water to make a solution. Name the solute in the jelly solution. It's the jelly powder because that's present in lesser amount and also it's solid. Name the solvent in the jelly solution. It's water. Why is the jelly solution a mixture? It is a mixture because of water and jelly powder. What has happened to the jelly powder? It is soluble and had uniform appearance when it's mixed. It forms a homogeneous mixture. Make a drawing to show different particles in a solution. In the first beaker, you can observe that the particles of water and jelly are present. The water particles being liquid are present a little bit far apart compared to the jelly particles. But jelly being solid is tightly packed together. As we mix the solute and solvent together, jelly dissolves. When jelly dissolves, the jelly and water particles are evenly spread throughout. That forms the homogeneous mixture.